There are two words which summarize the readings for us today. And these words are readiness and faith. In the gospel text of today, Jesus exhorts his disciples to be ready at every single moment. The reason for this readiness is because no one knows the day or the hour when the Lord will come. And when the Lord does come, no matter at what day or at what hour, the Lord must find that we are at our job doing what we have to do. The Jesuit Saint John Berkman had as the motto of his life three Latin words, RJ, quod argis. RJ, quod argis means in English, do what you are doing. If now you are listening to this homily, listen to this homily and don't get distracted by anything else. If you are working, focus on your work and do not get distracted by anything else. If you are praying, focus on prayer. If you are traveling, focus on traveling. If you are eating, focus on your eating and don't get distracted. If a person does what he or she is meant to do at every moment, then the person is ready at all times. The person is ready every time because you are doing exactly what is expected of you. Most of the time, we are doing something we are not meant to do or we are doing something different from what we have to do. At other times, our minds are in one place and our body is in another place. At those times, we start yawning because our body is not able to breathe properly. Many people think that yawning is a sign that you're feeling sleepy. That is hardly true. Yawning is a sign that your mind and body are not in sync, are not in the same place at the same time. And when that happens, the body forgets to breathe as it is meant to breathe. And so, as a defense mechanism, the body opens the mouth and takes in the oxygen in this manner, taking in the oxygen that is required. It is true that you are distracted. It is true that you may not have slept properly the previous day, which is why you are yawning. But it means primarily that you are not doing what you are meant to do. When you breathe properly, that is, when you are in the same place in both body and mind, then you don't have to be worried about anything because you are focused on the job at hand. And that job could be something as regular as reading or as sitting in a train or as working effectively. It means that you are not distracted, that you are not dispersed. And that is what Jesus calls the disciples to in the gospel text of today. He says to them that they have to be ready at all times because they never know the date or the hour when the Lord will come. It could be in the morning, it could be in the afternoon, it could be in the evening, it could be at night. And he calls them to fearlessness because they don't wait in trepidation for the Lord, they wait in anticipation rather because they know that when the Lord comes, he will welcome them, he will serve them, he will sit down at table with them simply because they are doing what they are meant to do. In the letter to the Hebrews, which is our second reading of today, we are given a glimpse of what it means to do what we are meant to do when the letter tells us that like Abraham and like Sarah, we are called to have faith. Abraham could not see the future. Abraham could only hear the promises of God and believe in the promises of God. To someone who was landless and childless, to someone who was advanced in years and had no scope of any possessions, the Lord promises land and progeny as numerous as the stars in the sky, as numerous as the grains of sand in the seashore and land further than his eye could see. Abraham believed 
and it was reckoned to him as righteousness and he became Abraham in becoming the father of a multitude. Abram means God is my father. Abram was simply told to do what he had to do, to continue his perseverance and to do his job and leave the rest to God. Abram did exactly that. He had faith. And because he was in the present moment, because he did not obsess about the future, but placed his trust, his confidence and his faith in the Lord, he was blessed along with his wife, Sarah. And so today, we are called by the Lord to be in the present moment, to be in sync in body, in mind and in heart, not to be dispersed, not to be distracted, not to be divided, but to be at one and to continue to do what we have to do and have faith in the Lord like Abraham did. Then we too will be blessed abundantly by the Lord. We too will be ready whenever the Lord comes.